Hi, welcome to Buzz in the Underground Business Voice. My name is Tony Selzer. We're here at the main event. We got it going in the background. We've been shooting now for almost three hours straight. Uh, I'm on a little bit of a buzz marathon. Uh, I haven't been drinking along with that, so I know Chris is uh, feeling good about that. Chris Hussey <laughs> with um, uh, the Interface Financial Group. Okay. Now, people, when you hear that name, they, a lot of times they're going to say, "Oh, you're a financial planner." Right. Right. Which is not what you do. No, absolutely not. You, and, and and really. Um, a lot of people don't even understand what your business is about. That's correct. Now, you do uh, the, the alternative lending or financing. Exactly. But what does that mean to a business owner? Uh, what does that mean is that uh, if they go, uh, uh, my tagline, uh -huh. what I like to tell people is, I'm the place to go when the bank says no. Yeah. All right. Yep. So they go to their banker, they're looking for that traditional line of credit yep. to help them through those growth spurts. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, that banker says, can't help you. Yeah, we like your deposits. A lot of reasons they're saying that they can't a help lot. you. Lots. Biggest one recently is personal credit. Yeah, they're really looking for personal credit. Yep. So, uh, 2009 it's a tough year for everybody for a variety of reasons. Mm -hmm. And so, people really, you know, dug deep to keep their businesses running. Now they're at a point where they aren't getting the orders. They're growing. And they don't have the cash to support that. Yeah, I mean, it could be they got a large government contract, exactly. doubles the size of their business. They can't front end it. Exactly. They can't. They can't even build out the infrastructure. They can't get the product in order to you know to to, a, to put out the output on the end. You're right? exactly right, Tony. It could it could be that it could be that they they they've got four. Uh, uh, divisions that they've opened mm -hmm. that are six months from hitting to ROI. Right. Boy, this one hits home, and they're waiting for it to catch up. <laughs> right. right. Exactly. Yeah. And and so if they get if their if their markets don't hit break even for six six to ten to twelve to eighteen months, mm -hmm. the the ability to go finance that next great opportunity is limited right. based on how much money they can borrow. Right. And that is really shrunk up lately. Right. Right. So. What we provide is an alternative to getting that line of credit. Okay. Uh, one of the biggest assets of a small business is their accounts receivable. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we do. So when uh, a small business is out there mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, I wish I could just collect on these these invoices and receivables a little bit sooner, mm -hmm. uh, that's where we can come in. So let's say that you're a technology company. Yes. You just got a large mm -hmm. deal with a, with a government contract. They pay 60 days out. Exactly. You've got to pay those people month one. They don't like to be paid 60 days. Exactly. And so in order to hire them, you need to pay them. So you, your alternatives are keep, you know, a million dollars in the bank. Well, right. Let's be real. Most business owners don't, don't, don't have do that. that. <laughs> yeah. And they sure as heck don't get, create their own, you know, line of credit. Right. right? Get a line of credit mm -hmm. or turn down opportunities exactly. like that. Exactly. And, exactly. and there are, surprisingly enough, businesses who are forced to do that because they don't know about people like you. Right. So uh, a number of my clients right now uh, are, are using us just for that reason. Uh -huh. They have a choice of whether to take on a project or not. Mm -hmm. Before they knew about us or you could use us, they'd have to say no because they knew full well they didn't have the cash flow I mean, to support paying those employees. So it, that six, in that people days. can actually grow themselves out of business. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. I mean, cash flow is king, right? Yeah. We all think top line, top line growth and, and net profits. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's what's in, the, it's what's in your uh, checking account to pay your employees, mm -hmm. to pay your vendors, to get more materials. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, that's, that's critical. Yep. So, so your natural referral sources are, in my mind, uh, bankers, yes. accountants, business financial planners, yes. people that are in there talking about money on a consistent basis right. and know what the real numbers look like. Yeah, typically the person that a business owner is going mm -hmm. uh, to trust. You know, a lot of times they go to their banker because mm -hmm. the banker, they're the ones that they think they can get some money from. Mm -hmm. So that's a great referral source. Commercial lenders, uh, really top-notch branch bankers, branch managers, uh, those are great. CPAs sometimes, uh, business coaches, uh, so maybe sometimes their attorney, whoever they have a, a real a high level of uh, trust and uh, confidence in uh, as far as an, an advisory. Mm -hmm. Chris, what do you think is the one thing that people need to know about the alternative lending market? Uh, it, first of all, I mean, the one thing is it exists. Yeah. There are other sources, you know, when the bank does say, you know, there's other ways to, to fuel your growth. Uh -huh. And, and that's when I, my, the clients I'm working with today and the prospective clients, they are just 
they're just very happy. What's the one thing they need to know if they know mm -hmm. about the alternative yeah. markets that makes you different? Makes us different. Uh, it's a completely use it as you need it service. Okay. So the business owner has a, a, a lot of control over uh, when to sell an invoice, how much to sell. Well, they're not they're not signed over on a program no that they can't do anything it about. Is, it is fast. We can get somebody funded with under a week. Mm -hmm. uh, and then once we get you qualified, it is a 24-hour turnaround. And, and one of the things I think is important to know yeah. is you guys use your own money. That is correct. We are self-funded. So when you're working with me, you're working with me. Yeah. Uh, so and, and so it's your call at the end of the day on whether is. or not you think you guys make yeah, it. We don't have a bunch of committees we go to. or so It's it's you and me making the decision. And I think that is, the, to me, one of the biggest differentiators. You're not out reselling a service here. Absolutely not. You're, this is your business. Your guys are all in. And by all in, I mean it's your coin in the deal. That is correct. Chris Hussey, you've been buzzed. Thanks, Tony. Thank you.